It is I, Mr. Stretch. Today I'm in the kitchen making crab cakes, and these are the ingredients that you'll need. The recipe calls for mayonnaise, and I fucking hate mayo. No, 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 no. So I only use a dab of it. In the bowl, along with cream cheese, I add a Dijon mustard, Obey, and Cajun seasoning. You're going to get that a quick little mix until everything is evenly mixed in. Then we'll open up our crab meat. This shit is expensive, but with inflation, it's even more expensive. Once you add the crab meat in, gently fold. That way, our crab meat doesn't get all smashed up. I totally forgot about an egg. We need an egg, y'all. So we're going to crack an egg in a bowl and mix it up. I used a chopstick. It's perfect for mixing. I'm going to dump some extra seasoning in here because why not? Pour it into the mix and then we're going to fold gently again. It smells amazing already. You could use panko crumbs, but I like using Ritz buttery crackers. That's how I elevate my crab cakes. Once again, fold gently. You got to show love to your food for it to taste good. Make sure you spray your pan with some nonstick butter. Now for the part I'm not a fan of. We got to roll the crab meat into some cakes. It feels disgusting. But I got it in the palm of my hand. You see how perfect they are? I made all of them the same size. And I used up all the crab meat in a bowl. I'm a natural at this. Call me, it is I, Chef Stretch. Ugh, let's wash our hands. We're going to sprinkle some extra Old Bay on top and pop them in the oven. You bake them for 15 to 20 minutes at 375. But honestly, I constantly check on them every five minutes and add butter. Just keep adding butter. Everything tastes better with butter. Look how sexy they look. But the butter also allows the crab cake to stay moist. It smells amazing, you guys. Almost smell like back home. I'm originally from the DMV, if you ain't know. We got the best crab cakes. We're going to slice up some lemons. Now we're back to adding more butter. I told y'all, do this shit every five minutes. Just add more butter. And I promise you, this going to be the best crab cake you ever had. There I go. More butter. Finally, taste time. Let's squeeze this lemon on here. Because lemon always go great with seafood. Let's get into it. Yeah, it's crispy on the outside, moist on the inside. This looks amazing. Whew, ha ha. That tastes almost as sexy as Mr. Stretch. And that's hard to beat. Thanks for watching, you guys. That's my time. Bye.